I too have a hard time sometimes stopping and photographing what I want to be photographing. So I decided that I would kind of define these places as an arena, uh, a place to make specific pilgrimages to, which is sort of a uh, reversal of their normal uh, utilitarian purpose, which is to keep moving. Um, so for the last few years, I've been going out to places in uh, San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, a bit in California as well. And uh, I started out photographing interchanges that were completed and then I became really interested in, uh, after going to a few places uh, that were still in transition, um, we became interested in these places for a number of reasons. I guess, uh, first of all, because um, of this sort of conceptual idea that I'd be able to stand in places where people wouldn't be able to stand afterwards safely. Like this photograph, for instance, is taken off of a, an overpass that had already been built but had no traffic on it. You know, it was still like a kind of a gridded rebar structure over Loop 410 in San Antonio. I was just fascinated with that idea that the vantage point itself um, would, after a while, be completely inaccessible. But then at the same time, I'm also interested in the fact that a lot of the vantage points in my pictures don't reflect the sort of visual experience of the driver at all. And that, in fact, the camera position itself is in a place that just frankly no one will ever go unless they're uh, you know, homeless or they've been in a car accident or something. Uh, you know, it, they're just very strange places to be, very noisy, um, just totally chaotic and yet also kind of orderly in this weird way. And that's something that I've tried to heighten in, in my process by narrowing my selection of pictures um, to a sort of selection that uh, implies a certain clarity in these places that maybe doesn't exist and almost functions as, uh, as a distortion in a, in a way that the image becomes so clear that, in fact, it seems like it's been manipulated or altered in some way. And um, that's you know something that I'm pushing in this work and in other projects that I'm doing. Um, that also relates to uh, this sort of like generic quality, and by generic I mean like uh, kind of timeless and placeless sense of the pictures. That um, you know these pictures are taken in all these different environments, and yet they sort of uh, start to echo each other and repeat, and uh, it becomes difficult to tell you know where they are, what city I'm in, it's kind of irrelevant. And, um, and then the pictures seem to sort of oscillate in time too, which is uh, really interesting for me given that photography is really supposed to pin things down in a specific place in a specific time and function as a sort of record, a sort of historical document. And m my pictures do all of those things. They record these places with extreme precision and detail and yet, uh, you know, it's, uh, Certain pictures, that one, for example, are, are obviously evocative of, uh, you know, historical ruins and uh, kind of icons of, um, you know, ancient architecture, and other ones like this are probably more evocative of, uh, you know, science fiction and that sort of thing. And then stylistically, I mean, it, these pictures are shot on film but printed digitally, which gives me some room to manipulate them. Um, but in general, I try to print them roughly as they would appear uh, if they were C prints. I don't really add or subtract uh, certain elements, though I do go in and kind of color certain areas and um, play with that. But I guess um, <coughs> conceptually, I'm, I'm interested in that idea of, of the, the photograph kind of pushing its own photographic qualities to such an extent that the photographic nature of it seems to sort of dissolve and you become really conscious of the medium and you, you can't quite tell if you're looking at a digital rendering or a painting or a photograph.